Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about style. I get a lot of questions about my personal style and how I manage to look stylish without breaking the bank. I, I say I consider my style to be very affordable. So today I thought I'd give you guys tips on how to look stylish without breaking the bank. My first tip is to shop your body type or dress your body type. Everyone body type is different. So every trend doesn't work for everybody. You have to stick with pieces that works for you. When come to my personal style I like form fitting pieces I'm a curvy girl not too curvy I'm between the I'm not a plus size I'm not a regular size I'm a size 10 most days but on a good day I'm a size 8 but it's depending on the store because every store runs differently in size but it's very very important to shop your body type because not every trend works for everybody on that same tip, shop pieces that work for you. Dress age appropriate. As so many times I see grown women walking around in booty shorts. You can pull it up, but sometimes it just doesn't work for everybody like me. I will not be walking around in booty shorts because I don't have bully to begin with. My butt is a little not so great. So I will not be walking around in booty shorts. So shop age appropriate clothing and shop clothes that work for your body type. Tip number two, learn how to shop. I get so many questions. People tell me all the time, I went to the mall. I spent two, three hours in the mall and I can't find anything to wear. One, you don't know how to shop because if you know how to shop, when you go to the mall, it has tons of stores. You should find something to wear. If you're not finding nothing to wear, you know, entire mall filled with stores, you don't know how to shop. And shopping requires time. So people, I have patience for a lot of things in my life, but when it comes to shopping, I have Tons of patience. I can shop all day, every day, if I have the money. But I can't afford it, so I go once in a while. So it's very important to learn how to shop. And it requires a lot of time, it requires a lot of patience, and it requires figuring your personal style. Sometimes people can't find what they want to wear because they, they don't know their personal style. They're pretty confused about what look good on their body type. And for you to figure that out, you, have, you might have to go through some trial and error. You have to... Try different, different looks and see what works for you, for you to find your personal style. That way it's easier for you to shop. Tip number three, when you're shopping, try discount stores. For instance, Nordstrom Rack, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Burlington Co. Factory, affordable stores, even online sites like Misguided, Boho, ASOS, affordable website or affordable stores that it's not gonna break the bank, but you're still gonna look stylish. You're still gonna look like somebody off the wrong way. You're still gonna look cute, but you're still gonna have money left in your bank account if you get in what I'm saying. So you need to shop pieces or stores that have affordable deals, but at the same time, you still look great. Not everything that's cheap is bad quality. There are some really, really, really good quality pieces out there that have affordable price tag to it. Number four, I say invest in quality pieces. A lot of times people have a wardrobe filled of junk, things that they don't really wear. And you need to invest in the basics, like a leather jacket, a maxi, uh, a boyfriend jeans, a maxi skirt, a wrap dress, basic pieces that every woman needs in her wardrobe. If you have those basic pieces, it's very easy to find something to go with it or easy for you to transition your wardrobe but if you don't have the basic pieces it's very hard for you to shop because sometimes you get confused and you don't know what to shop for so it's important to invest in the basic pieces you can be shop on a budget but still you need to invest in some pieces like i.e a really really good pair of boyfriend jeans a really good pair of skinny jeans a really good pair of button down white shirt pieces that will work for everyday basis and that you can transition from season to season. Tip number five, alterations. Oh my God, this is like one of my favorite tips that I can get to anybody that wanna be on a budget is to learn how to sew. Even I don't own a sewing machine, but I have a needle and thread that works. So because a lot of time when you shop pieces, especially from the thrift store, it don't always fit. So you might need to Tip it in a little, you might need to tailor it a little to fit your body. Because if you buy just off the rack, especially when you're a petite girl, it might not always fit. So you want to tailor your pieces to fit your body. And that is learning how to sew all. Find your local tailor in your area that can alter your pieces that will work for you. Because alteration is so important. It makes the difference in every clothing you wear. The way your clothing fit, that's how well it look on you. Like, 
Certain pieces, it needs to be tailored. Not every piece is going to work for your body type right off the rack. You need to tailor it towards your body type. For instance, a pencil skirt, I can get a pencil skirt right off the rack that is going to fit me. But if you're a petite girl, it might be a little difficult to fit. So you might need to hem it a little. That's why tailoring is very, very important. Even if you see red carpet looks, most celebrities tailor their clothes. They don't just get the clothes off the rack and wear it. So you might want to learn how to sew. You can get a sewing kit from the dollar store. You can just get a basic needle and thread and learn how to hem your clothes or at least learn how to take the waist in a little. It, that would make a huge difference in how you look when you go out. Tip number five. Sorry, guys. I have notes. Is to take care of your clothing. I am so guilty of this. Yes, in the past, I never really have the patience to really take good care of my clothing. I consider my clothing now an investment. So whenever I buy pieces, I take good care of it. I, pieces that need to go to the dry cleaning, go to the dry cleaning. And pieces that need to be separated when you're doing laundry. Black stay with black, color stay with color, white stay with white. It's very important for you to separate your clothing. Because if you take good care of your clothing, you can wear it over five, six times. And each time you wear it, it's going to look new or on the tip looking stylish doesn't have to cost you a lot you can shop from consignment stores one of my like my most popular blog posts is from the thrift store i am obsessed with the thrift store you can check out goodwill salvation i mean you can shop stores like that and still look fabulous you doesn't always have to go to the mall to look good you doesn't always have to buy expensive pieces to look good it's not where you're wearing it's how you're wearing it on that note thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful and don't finish your money shopping and looking good don't keep up with the trend Five pieces that work for your body type. Thank you for watching and bye.